Yo, what is up guys? Evan Zini here bringing you another Destiny video. So today I'm going to be showing you and going over the new Iron Banner Hand Cannon, Finalus Peril. If you enjoy the video or find it helpful, be sure to hit that like and sub button. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this weapon's perks, and yes, mine are different than the one you'd buy at Lord Saladin. If you actually get one to drop from the Iron Banner, all the perks have a chance to be different. So let's take a look at mine. So we have the Steady Hand IS, a stable sight optimized for excellent recoil control. Sure Shot IS, Snapshot Sight, Excellent Handling, Superb Target Acquisition, Quick Draw IS, Agile Sight with Lightning Fast Handling. The first perk being Spray and Play, increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. Hand Loaded, this weapon is effective at an extended range. And then we have Reinforced Barrel, Increased Range with Reduced Ability and Injection Mold, Increased Ability, Faster Handling with Reduced Range. And then Hidden Hand, this weapon gains better target acquisition. So let's go ahead and check this thing out in PvP, guys. Before we get too far into this, I'm just going to say I'm not the best with hand cannons, but I'm definitely not the worst. I'm sure some of you out there can make this thing look like the best hand cannon ever created, but me, no way. So let's talk about the base stats this weapon is pushing. So compared to its year 1 counterpart, Tamir's Lash, the fire rate has been raised but the impact has been lowered in turn. The new rate of fire and impact is the same as the Hawkmoon and Fatebringer, just so you can have an idea. The standard magazine size is 10, but since you can get different rolls from each drop, you can get perks that increase or decrease the magazine size. The range, stability, and reload are all very close to the Fatebringer stats in those categories, but the Fenelus Peril will more than likely always drop with a perk to increase the range or stability and sometimes both. The most common crit I've been seeing is 86 and shots to the body will vary due to the severe drop off on hand cannons now. So I know this will probably be one of the most asked questions so I'm going to give my opinion on it and that question being which is better Tamir's Lash or the Fenelus Peril? Personally, I think there are only two things that really set these two apart. Number one being that the Tamir's Lash had a very high and devastating impact. The Fenelus Peril impact has been brought down, making it just another hand cannon with the common stats that it has. And number two being that the Tamir's Lash could be re-rolled to make it better and fit your playing style. With the Fenelus Peril, you cannot re-roll it. So either you buy it from Lord Saladin or you keep playing Iron Banner until you get the one that has perks to your liking and that can be a pain. I do think that both these hand cannons are good in their own light, but if I had to choose between the two to go into PvP with, I'd have to say that Tamir's Lash has the slight edge. But that's just my opinion on the matter. This is a good hand cannon and if you have not bought it or had it dropped for you, I'd recommend grabbing it before Iron Banner is over. As for me, I don't see myself using this very often due to the current pulse rifle meta and me just not liking hand cannons all that much. But this weapon may fit your playing style and complement it very well, so I'd recommend giving this weapon a shot. This hand cannon isn't going to revolutionize the PvP world, but I do feel that it is nice to have and use when needed. With that being said, I think I'm going to sign off. If you found the video helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like and sub button. As always, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.